Hey girls, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna do a handbag unboxing. I haven't done a video like this in so long, but they are still some of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube and I used to make them every time I got a new handbag. I'm like, why not bring it back? I love these like old school, chatty kind of hangout videos. They're easier for me to do with two kids now. Getting like tons of time to film super in-depth videos doesn't happen very often, but Michael just took both the boys to the pool. We are in Florida at our condo for the fall and I picked up a new fall bag and I kind of want to share it with you guys. So I think you might be surprised. It is from Louis Vuitton. I haven't bought a Louis Vuitton bag in quite a while. I'm trying to think. I bought a very tiny um, like vintage speedy like mini maybe like two two years ago from Fashion File. Um, I just got it for an event that I was going to, but like actually like buying a bag, it's been quite a few years since I've bought a Louis Vuitton. I've been kind of cheating on Louis with Chanel and um, I got a really cute Chanel bag, like neon pink um, for the summer and I have loved wearing it, but it's lambskin and it's hot pink. So I don't want to continue wearing it like on a daily basis because I do want to make sure I'm taking care of that like more delicate leather, but not to say this one isn't delicate either. I'm just so excited. I've never seen this bag in person. Um, I got it from a Louis Vuitton inside Saks and I'm just so excited about it. Like I think it's going to be the perfect fall bag. Let's, let's just do a little handbag chat. I feel Typically like fall winter bags, you're thinking like darker colors, maroons, beige, dark tan, navy, black, but I kind of wanted to do something a little different. I knew I'd be spending a lot of the colder months here in Florida where you can kind of get away with like wearing those brighter colors still. And I've always wanted a bag this color, like always. It's been on my wish list for years. Um, so I'm really excited about it. Okay. Should we open it up? I was gonna do like a little unboxing on my phone for TikTok. So maybe I'll film this on my phone and you guys will see the unboxing on my phone and then we'll come back to chat about it. Let's do that. Before we get into the unboxing, make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. I'm making new videos every week. A lot of videos for the next few months are going to be a part of my series of feeling my best by 30. I'm turning 30 in January, so I'm doing a ton of fun things to feel and look my best and find my personal style after two kids and like just kind of getting back to me by 30. Even if you're not 30, even if you're older, younger, I still think it'll be a really fun series if you just love like lots of inspo. So make sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, check out my vlog channel. That's where we share more of our daily life or other businesses, things we have going on. So check that out too. Let's unbox this bag. Pretty. I'm already noticing that, but it does always bother me when little those little like straps come up. It's weird that it would be like that right out of the box, but I'm going to ignore it for now. Okay, so inside there's a couple different fragrance samples, the dust bag, and then my receipt too. From Saks. Cousin PM Cream. Okay, cool. Let's see. So here is the beautiful bag. This color is stunning. It's called cream. I think at first glance, it definitely looks white and in person, it's kind of like an ivory off white. I wouldn't say it's like super creamy, but it's an off white. It's definitely not like a true, true white. It's really beautiful. I've had a white bag on my wish list for years. It's like a huge oversized white bag. And this is not the exact one I pictured, obviously, because this is new, but I just really thought this color would be so pretty with those warm fall tones and it'd really stand out. So this is the Cousin or Cous yeah, Cousin PM from Louis Vuitton. 
I like that you can kind of carry it like this, but I'm going to put the strap on. So like I said in that little unboxing, that is bugging me. I wonder if this was like... I mean, I bought it directly from the store, but this is really weird that it would already be up like that. I have seen a couple reviews, and this is like the exact reason why I love watching videos like this is because you see just things that might bother you about the bag. It's not going to stop me from using it, but for some reason that little thing does bother me. I don't know why. It's just like when you get a bag, you just want it to be perfect. Not to say it's supposed to be down. I think it's just supposed to be straight. Maybe that is how it's supposed to be. I don't know. But those little things bother me and i can't remember what other bag i have that does that maybe it's maybe it's the speedy actually like i have two speedies and i think they both do that okay so ooh, it's pretty inside it's like a dark forest green suede it says louis vuitton paris made in italy right there it's got two big pockets and then one center pocket the zippers are really pretty gold Ooh, and the straps This is what I was really excited for. This is what sold me on it. Okay, let's look at it. And then in here, there's just like the sticker and just like some information about it. Okay, so yeah, you get three little pouches in there, which I thought this would be really good size. I'll probably throw in wallet, sunglasses, a diaper, and some wipes. And I'll use this as like a baby bag purse combination. This is cute. Okay, let's attach the straps. This one's really pretty. I love this. Ooh, this is cool. And I also really like the straps. Like, this kind of gives it that sporty, more like utility vibe. And this really gives it that glam, girly. I just kind of loved the straps with the bag. Isn't that so pretty? Okay, so this is what the strap looks like. It says Louis Vuitton. It's kind of like a fabric strap. And it does have little bits of the leather in that like typical Louis Vuitton color with the gold. Okay, let's put this on. Let's see. Hmm, how will I want to wear it? Probably like this. I'm trying to think about how I want to wear it. Probably this way. Hmm. Come on. Yeah, it does. Okay. So you can wear it just like that. I'll include like some pictures too. That's really cute. Or you can attach this and this is like heavy duty. This is nice. I like that you can take it off or on, but it's like jewelry for your bag, for your bag. I think that's really pretty. Okay, let's put this on. And then I'm gonna look in the mirror <laughs> and see what it looks like one second. Okay, so here's what it looks like on. This is so cute. I feel like the size is perfect. I wouldn't want it any bigger. I actually really like the length that it came at too. I just feel like this is a great length for me. Really pretty, super easy bag to throw on with kids too. Like I love a hands-free bag. So I typically always do crossbody. but then what's great is if I'm going out on a date night or something, I could take this off and just carry it by the chain strap or use it as a clutch. I'll actually try that on so you guys can see. I'm five foot three for reference. I feel like the size is just perfect. This is so cute. I love the color. Okay, so here you can see the strap. I think I might actually wear it like this. This is super, super cute. I love this look with the strap on the shoulder and then just having the other one hang down. Okay, I'm gonna back up so you guys can see it without being like on the phone too. So just so you can see a little bit better. Isn't it cute? I love it. So pretty. Okay, so the leather is like a lambskin leather. It looks pretty delicate, especially this color. So if you are going to get this color, I think it's actually sold out right now. It was really hard to get my hands on it, but I would just be very, very gentle with the leather. Really, really pretty. Or you could even wear it like this. I probably won't wear it like that too often, but that would be cute. Let that strap go. Wear it like this. Or you could even just take this strap off. You could take either of them off like all together, depending on if you wanted more of a sporty look or more of a girly glam look. Like this is, would be really pretty for like date night or something. So cute, I like this. This is pretty. Or you could just do like this and kind of have it under your arm like this.
right, so I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you're new. I will see you in my next one. Bye.